Morning guys, morning, morning, morning. I hope it's not too bright because I am in the car with my Dunkin'. Um, butter pecan, it is my favorite Dunkin' flavor. When they get rid of it when it's not summer, I am depressed. Even though pumpkin is good, it's not my butter pecan. If you're ever wondering what Lauren's absolute favorite coffee flavor is, it's going to be butter pecan. Or pecan of some sort. Okay, so today we are talking about my reads for June. So I've been doing this for a little while now. I kind of just like encompass everything I read for the month and talk about my favorites, what I loved, what I didn't love, all of that stuff. So let's start with Sarah. Well, let's start by putting a screenshot in here of all of my reads for the month of June. So, Lauren, insert that here. Yay. Okay, so that's everything that I read for the month of June. Let's start with the Sarah Kate series. That praise series, praise and eyes on me. Woo! Okay, I'm going to tell you, I read praise in like... 12 hours, maybe less, in one sitting, I think. It was so freaking good. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that series is good. The third book just came out. It's already on my Kindle. I just started it. And it's going to be good, too. Like, that series, if you don't mind reading stuff that's a little spicy... Check that series out. They're all on Kindle Unlimited. Check it out. Because <laughs> that series is good. <laughs> um, praise, is, praise is very good. Eyes on me was okay. Um, so, what else did I read? Oh, my, my killer vacation I read in Florida on vacation. Um, I liked the book a lot. It was a little bit of a tough read for me. But I think that was everything else that I had going on at that time. Like, Sophia's injury and surgery and vacationing. And I 100% think that's why I had a little bit of time getting through that one. Not anything against Tessa Bailey's writing. But 100% against all of the distraction that I had going on. It was a good book. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. Next of Kin was a sleeper for me. Like, I'd seen it on TikTok a little bit. Some, like, one person talked about it on TikTok. And I was like, ooh, I'll read this because, you know, I need something fluffy. This was post Sophia's surgery, and I was just going through a lot. And I was like, I need something fluffy to just make me feel good. And Next of Kin did that. It understood the assignment. Fluffy, romance, enemies to lovers... It was really, really good. Read quite a few Frieda McFadden's again. You guys know she's like one of my go-to authors. I really enjoy her. She's such a quick read. The Inmate was my favorite Frieda McFadden that I read this month. I really, really enjoyed The Inmate. Um, one that fell a little short for me was Credence by Penelope Douglas. I read was it last month or maybe the month before you can go back in my videos um I read punk 57 by Penelope Douglas and loved punk 57 it was one of my highest rated reads of the year I mean thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so I was like okay credence this is awesome it is a little too weird for me I'm not gonna lie to you I like smut but that one was a little weird for me. There was family members and, and, and parental figures involved. I was, it was, it was, mm, it was a lot. Shout out to anybody who loved that book. I liked that book. But I could have dealt without some of the, um, some of the stuff. But it was a good book. It was definitely a quick read. Like, very quick read. So, that one was a good one. I really didn't have any flops this month again. Um, my next video that I do a review of is going to be on Savage's Black Dagger Brotherhood book. And 
I'm not gonna call it a flop. I refuse to call anything J.R. Ward does a flop. But what I'm gonna say is that, whoo, that one was a slow burn, and we're gonna talk about it in the next review video that I do. Why <laughs> Savage's Black Tiger Brotherhood book was such a slow burn for me, and, and what I think she can do to improve it in book 20 in Balthazar's book, which is out, which is the next, not the next book I'm gonna read, but I'm gonna read it really soon, because I have found with the Black Dagger Brotherhood, if I stay in that Caldwell, New York world and just read that series, I can get into each book quicker because I'm already mentally there. I'm already mentally in Caldwell, New York. I'm remembering who all of these characters are. Because that's a big thing. In Black Dagger Brotherhood, there's hundreds of characters at this point. Maybe not hundreds, like 50, I feel like sometimes main characters. And when you have that many characters, you really, you really gotta be good at what you're doing. I digress. That's a that's a topic for another another. We're just gonna edit. I I sneezed and we're gonna edit that out. And I felt it coming too. And I, I was like, I should stop here for a minute. And I didn't. So now I gotta edit. I hate editing. But it's okay. Um But yeah, we're not gonna talk too much about Savage's book because Savage's book was good. I really like the last 30% of it. Like, the last 30% of it had me by the, like, clutches. But it shouldn't have taken me 60 to 70% of a book to get invested. And we're going to talk about that. But other than that, that is everything that I read for June. We are, it's like, July the 8th or 9th right now. So I've already gotten a decent start into July. I'm out in the middle of my second book. Savage's book is the first book I read in July. And, and I'm not going to lie to you. I It's been a long time since the book took me a week to read. That book took me a week to read. And I'll, like I said, we'll go into that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. The second book I'm reading is the third book in the Sarah Kate series. That praise series. Mm -hmm. It is good. And it will take me about a day to read that one. Okay. So... Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to drop Sophia's Ulta haul in here too. Because she went to Ulta and did a birthday haul. And she's really excited to show you guys. So hopefully you like that too. Love y'all and we will see you on Wednesday. Morning guys. Morning, morning, morning. I got the birthday girl with me again. And we have a birthday. Mm. Oh my goodness. Ulta haul. Yay. She's going to pull everything out. And show you everything that she got and if she needs any help telling you what it does I'll help her out this is a cow print let me tuck that up real quick a cow print head wrap um, it's really great for her for when she's washing her face or when she's doing her makeup so this was thing number one Uh, she got a new hairbrush. It's a wet brush. We really like this brand of brush. It's really good with detangling and she has really thick hair. These socks are probably some of the softest socks you've ever felt in your life. And they also have aloe vera in them to make your skin really soft on the bottom of your feet. That's why I got them. They feel soft and also apparently they like keep the feet cold or something. Mm -hmm. They're cooling. They've got a lot of really good traits this we're really excited about this is a rose hip and argon oil shea body butter so she got some scrubs from this company for her birthday oh my gosh it just smells amazing and so yeah it smells like roses smells wonderful and it is the body butter for her to put on her skin because i got some sugar scrubs and they kind of feel like sand yeah because they get all the dead skin off so this is the um cleanser that i went with her to start washing her face it is for normal and combination skin because her skin is a little acne prone in some areas it's just the age she's 13 now but I really liked this one, and so this is the one that we've got. Also, if you notice, I did my nails. I know they've been looking terrible in the last few videos. So I got a new palette, and it looks super cute. Yes, she got the Morphe 
Va Va Voom palette. And she That's really so liked mean. it is. Um, let me open it because I'll show you the color that she really liked. If I can get it open in a timely manner. You know you can edit this out, right? The opening of all of them. Yes, and I probably will do. <laughs> Alright. It didn't take very long. So, <laughs> this is the Va Va Voom palette. And it just clicks open here. And it has all the names of everything on it. And these are the colors. I really like that pink one, right? Dandy. I like All Nighter for her, too. That's the pink one below it. But yeah, she really liked this palette. I love that it has that nice big mirror for her right there. So that is a great starter palette for her. That's not a starter palette. I've had a lot of palettes before that. True story. She's had a lot of palettes. So... All right, she liked this because it's Hello Kitty primarily, but it is a plumping, healing, and revitalizing strawberry-flavored collagen and 24-karat gold Hello Kitty lip plumping mask. Yeah, because my lips be dry. I don't need them plump really. Yeah, so she says she has dry lips, so we're going to try this out, and it's really cute, too. So I got one more thing it feels like. I think you got more than one thing left in there. There's something else in the bottom. Oh, we got a NYX. This is Milky in um, the color Milkshake. Let me swatch it for you. It's a really pretty color. So it's a nice light color. It's not too terribly dark. So she really liked that color. And it's really smooth. It goes on really nicely. I liked that. I like lip glosses more than lip. I agree, especially at her age, I think that lip glosses are definitely the go-to. And then we got the last and final thing, a pineapple bath bomb. Because I and like it smells bath. really nice. And she's getting her cast off soon, so she'll be able to take a bath. I like baths. Yes, and use all of her sugar scrubs, and we're super excited. So, yeah, that is our amazing birthday girl, Ulta Haw. I will have a video up on Wednesday for um i'm gonna do a black dagger brotherhood video i just read the new book on savage actually it's not even the newest one i think lassiter's book is the newest one out but i just read savage's book and just finished it we're going to do a um a review and a black dagger brotherhood overview for wednesday maybe monday we'll see when it goes up but it's going up this coming week so if you are a Black Dagger Brotherhood fan like I am, we're going to put this little cow scrunchie on her. There, she is so cute. I look stupid. You don't look stupid. You look adorable. Bleh. Okay, so we're going to do Black Dagger Brotherhood coming up this week. And love you guys.